Hi, I'm Nick. I'm Ben. And we're from So Is It Any Good. We've just checked out King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. What was that, Ninja? <laughs> you felt it, didn't you? The power. So it's got wizards, it's got uh, monsters, it's got kings, it's got cockney knights. It's got uh, everything you expect, but the big question is, so is it any good? Yeah, I, I mean that's not a yeah, it's good, that's a yeah nah. Teased me there. <laughs> <laughs> didn't seem to be enough like meaty scenes in this film, there was just like a collection of moments that made up the two and a bit hours, um, which left me a little disappointed. Tough, tough. Sorry I mean, look, guy. It, it's hard, Sorry. I can agree with pretty much everything Ben said, but I'd still give it a yes because I enjoyed it. It was, uh, yeah, lots of action and things like that. But it also, it, it did lack in places too. There was a Guy Ritchie feel, but it felt like someone imitating Guy Ritchie. Uh, it felt like it had his sort of hallmarks. He just thought, well, I've got to throw those in to make it Guy Ritchie film. The rest is kind of just Lord of the Rings. But it, it was still good fun. I enjoyed it. I thought the uh, special effects were pretty good. Um, massive elephants tearing up the screen, coming right at you. The opening sequence in this film really just brings it. Like, that's probably in terms of escalation, like that's probably as big as it gets. And then it kind of gets a bit smaller after that. Yeah, yeah it's a fair point. Because you've gotten a taste of that, you're like, oh yeah, when's he going to bring it up here? But like yeah. you say, Cunts keeps it at that level. I wasn't controlling it. It was controlling me. So you've got Charlie Hunnam in the lead role as King Arthur. Uh, everyone knows him from Sons of Anarchy, uh, Green Street Hooligans, and some other films. Where just generally just being yeah. just a good looking dude. Pretty much, yeah, takes his shirt off, jumps around a lot. You couldn't really, like, love the guy. You didn't really get a chance to love the guy. Mm. He was a bit of a prick at times. Um, and then we're just supposed to, like, get behind him. I didn't really know who he was. I didn't get much of a feeling for who he was. But like I said, you know, he's just so dreamy. So as for the rest of the cast, they're all pretty good. They all have their own certain set of skills. One's a, an archer, one's really good with swords, one just has a kid and is a cockney. But they're all kind of good fun. Then they're, they're also quite forgettable. And that's a bit of a shame, because one thing I think Guy Ritchie does really well is write strong characters. But I think he had too many. And I think he gave all the best lines and all the best action to Charlie Hunnam and kind of left Jude Law a bit in the cold. Oh, poor Jude. I know, he didn't get anything decent to do. So what do you think of the score? Yeah, so this is the one redeeming feature for me. Like, I, I actually think the score was pretty badass. From, from what I could tell, there was only one kind of commercial track in there. Um, and the rest of the score music was kind of complementing the look, the feel of that kind of track. But did you think it's, did it just stand out to you? or? I thought it was good, but it wasn't as memorable as the other Guy Ritchie films. When you walk away and you can hear, I can hear almost any one of those songs from his movies. And you're like, yeah. oh yeah, I know what film that's from. It'd be a hard, it'd be hard push to hear one of these tracks and go, oh yeah, that's from you know King Arthur. Here's the king. So King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. I gave it a yes. He gave it a no. Go along, find out for yourself. See what you think. It's uh, out now in Aussie cinemas. If you like what you've seen here? Make sure you subscribe down there. Come on, just do it. I'm Nick. I'm Ben. And we'll see you at the movies. <laughs>